Greetings, everyone. I have a viewer submitted package here on the bench. I covered their name and address to protect the innocent. What could this be? I know there's a couple things I was expecting, but I'm not sure what it is. So let me pop this open and we'll see what's inside. Okay. We have an LED bulb. Yeah, somebody mentioned they had an LED bulb, but look at that. It's I think it's uh has a light detector on there. Oh. Yeah, lucky <laughs> lucky who uh up oh, he's going to smell it and check it all out. Yeah, I tell you folks, I cannot catch a break. Look at he's knocking over my parts, my electronic parts. I have an amplifier video coming up shortly. So don't knock my parts over. Probably going to shoot that right after I shoot this. But anyway, I'm going to uh, see what the problem is with this bulb. It's supposed to be a dead LED bulb and I'm supposed to tear it down to see why it no longer works. Okay, so we have this bulb. I did screw it in and cover its little sensor with tape and it doesn't do anything I guess uh, I forgot what he said it's a dusk to dawn type or is it a remote control type I don't know but I covered this sensor whatever it is with tape and screwed it in and it didn't light up I've seen it before where the socket was bad and the light bulb was still good it would work in another socket but uh, my socket it didn't light up. It's a Fight brand bulb. I have this type of Fight bulb. You know, they look a little different. Same brand. I have these in about 10 to 12 sockets around the house. And uh, I've been going for two and a half years. Work fine. That one I did in my other video was my parents. Uh, bulb for my parents' house. They're the ones that seem to have the problem with some LED bulbs failing. Eh, not very many, but they had a few. Um, let's see here. Continuity. Yeah. 10 mega ohms, but there's some connection. I've seen it before. This little cap here, it'll pop off and there's a little wire that makes contact and uh, sometimes that has poor contact and just fixing that or adjusting that makes it work again but we're getting continuity and this has a different type of socket I notice this socket turns but it like unscrews but it doesn't pop loose so I guess I'm gonna have to get into this thing and see what's going on Okay, I got it open, got the LED board out. I'll have to see if I can get this aluminum top off. It can't come out the bottom because the uh, PC board inside gets wider as it goes up, so it can't come out that way. So I'll have to see if I can get this aluminum heat sink part removed. And yeah, it had plenty of heat sink compound, but I wiped it off. Because the stuff gets everywhere, you can see it's already all over me. But it looks like these are nice quality LEDs. See if I can uh, get you in closer here for a better look. Get my hand out of the way so there won't be a shadow. If, you, if I angle this right, you can see the bumps where the LED die are. There's two of them in the package. You see the little dark spot in the corner? That is the protection diode, which are usually used in higher quality LEDs. I went around the board and all of the LEDs worked. What I did, I took a 9 volt battery out of this little box here. 
and I have a uh, resistor to limit current and this came unplugged so I'll have to plug it in so I'm going to attempt to do this on camera see if I can get this to work on camera and um, I went around there was just enough uh, metal showing that I can make contact and I went around the whole circle of LEDs uh, if I can get contact again I mean there's just the slightest bit there we go so yeah I went around and checked all the LEDs and they all worked and I'm not having luck now I mean it's just the tiniest sliver I think I have to ain't angle it up a bit that or we came unplugged over here okay back again in fact you have to uh, cut an angle a wedge in the copper because that connection is really small down there okay so the LED board is good I'm going to have to crack this thing open and see what's going on in there okay so I liberated the driver board from the bulb and since this LED board is working fine I soldered it back on so I can tinker around and see what the problem is we have a LED driver circuit up here and a light detector circuit down here. AC current comes in to the bridge rectifier and the current goes up here through the choke on up to the driver circuit. On the other side it comes up this way stops at this SCR and when it gets dark out this light control circuit or detector circuit will trigger this SCR on and send current up and allow the driver to function. The driver chip is one of those BP, I guess it's a bright power type chip. This chip here is a LM2903 dual comparator circuit so they're using that with the light sensor diode here probably has some hysteresis so right when it gets to the point it's dark enough to turn on the extra light from the bulb won't you know trigger it back off and you know start flickering and stuff so on its way up here this resistor takes some current off brings it over here to this capacitor and across that is also a Zener diode which limits current for the light control circuit. Now there are no filtering caps on this side of the supply up to the um, driver circuit because this SCR needs to have the voltage drop to about zero to allow it to turn off or it will be stuck on. So the main filter for the driver is up here. It's this cap here. It's on this side of the SCR or the driver side of the SCR as opposed to the line side and this cap here is the filtering for the output of the driver okay I'm hooked up to my Variac through a bulb limiter and I am on a uh, CFGI so but I still want to be careful but if I jump across this SCR short across that the LEDs come on so those are working just fine the LED driver is working okay the problem is with the light control circuit okay so here's what I found out across the power supply for the light control circuit I'm only getting 2.3 volts. The data sheet for this comparator says it'll run down to 2 volts. So it is possible that is okay. But it does seem pretty low. I mean, why would you run it so close to the minimum voltage? 
it could be something is wrong in pulling that voltage down because it is very current limited supply. I could pull off the Zener diode and check what its actual forward voltage or its uh, Zener voltage is. But you know, I'm not going to go to that level. I'm not going to pull these parts off and see what the problem is. I did send some voltage directly to the gate of the SCR and it triggers just fine so it's not that. So yeah, it's something in this light control circuit because of course the uh, driver works just fine, the SCR works fine, and you know, like I said the LEDs are fine. It's just this light control circuit is not working properly. So there you have it. That is the diagnosis of this LED bulb failure. Thanks for watching.